the Game Boy Advance like Pokemon sprites. Sprites, there's that's the word I was looking uh, for. Sprites, yes. Okay. Three, this is really sick. Two, one, go, all right, so Kalos is the pick here. And already starting off, Nitro applying all of this pressure. Puts a whip and the setup. I'm surprised that we're actually starting game one on Kalos because he's, he's one of the counter picks that Nitro would go to during uh, during sets. Ooh, there's the damage, but the third Nair does not connect. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I like it. He, he knew he was going to get a kill off of it, so he just converted the Nair after, after that down there. He's got a little bit of a drag down, too, just to stall out and put players in a better position to follow up with an up air after he landed. Slayer's coming with the rainbows, man. Up air is doing lots and lots of damage. Oh, back throw, not a good position here. And the stitch face. Stitch face? Enough. Yeah, you're, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> he just saw the stitch face and he was like, you got it, man. You, got it. <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> not even a minute in and you got a stitch face. I'm telling you, dude. The peach RNG. We've seen Slayer get like, what, four or five stitch faces, a Mr. Bomb. Saturn, and a bomb. Yeah. Oh, dang. We're moving around all these projectiles. Getting the hit check right on in. Oh, so close. That fourth match was so, so close. Oh, oh, oh but oh, he messed whoa. up the conversion again. Okay, okay, but we got the four. Yeah, yeah, we, we got the four. All right, all right, all right. Okay. And and Nitro didn't actually take any damage during those uh, misconversions, so it wasn't a loss. Yeah. Very fortunate there. Oh, I like the punish from Slayers. A lot of people might have respected the cross a little too much in that situation. I mean, the cross is scary. Oh, oh, see oh what it does to Pikmin? For sure, for sure. <laughs> Uh, oh, fights right through. Gets him off stage and oh. another one. Even with the jump, you can't make it back, my man. Uh, Belmont definitely needs a little bit of something extra to make it back from that position. And I think that was another stitch face that Slayer's got. Yeah, that was another stitch face. <laughs> wow. That, that stitch face wasn't even needed. The, the power of Peach, like, Peach really wants Slayer's to win right now. He's just like, yo, man, I'll, I'll give you whatever you need, man. <laughs> you need two, two stitch faces and a bomb bomb. All I'm right. waiting for the bomb bomb. <laughs> I want to see, like, the, did you see the, the, the tech that um, if Peach pulls out a bomb bomb, he, like, throws it down, it doesn't hurt Peach? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't hurt Peach. And I believe if you hit it off stage, it spikes. Like, the, the, the bomb explosion spikes you. Yeah, what are these properties like on bomb bomb? Yeah, they just, like, yeah, it's weird. And I don't even know if it's just, like, a bomb bomb thing. Okay, but... We got Holy Water into Forest Smash, the classic for Richter here, bringing Nitro right back into this game number one. Can Slayers close it out? Can Slayers set up some kind of offstage situation, perhaps? Or is Slayers just going to be able to oh, he's gonna get it. through these, these uh, projectiles and these items? Oh, man. Both players facing out their forward airs. Yeah, going above and beyond the Holy Fire, the Holy Water. Man, I really like these angles on all the aerials, aerials that Nitro is throwing out. He's doing so much work with him. Back throw, now Slayer trying to recover high. Fishing for the up air, doesn't find it. Harry into down tilt. Now, uh -oh. wait a minute, we're on the ledge, and there it is the holy water into the forward smash once again. I believe it's it, Slayer's is getting caught with the ledge. You gotta be really. Careful when you're when you're looking at the holy water. You're seeing how the Belmont set it up. If it's really close to the ledge, it can catch your ledge jump. Right. If it's like a little bit farther back, then you you, you just have to like calculate where the fire is, like how close to the ledge. If it's like right on top of the ledge or it's like really far out, it can catch your ledge jump. You have to be really good. Really okay. Well, game two starting on Slayer's kind of big final destination. Now we saw him do. Good amount of work against Nico here in the last set. But will he be able to ledge trap? Oh, that's a dot base. Oh, yeah. I, oh. I stopped counting the dot base because he gets it so often. <laughs> right now, I mean, once again, Slayer's starting off really strong. And we saw Slayer start off really strong in that game number one. But it, I just feel like it can get really, really taxing, especially when Slayer puts himself on the ledge, man. Like, or, or he, like when Nitro like hits him off the ledge, but man, it, it's just so difficult. It, it feels like it's just difficult for uh, players to get off the ledge versus Nitro. He, he puts him down there and he's, he's catching him with all these setups. I mean, he's grabbing so many shots through the Holy Fire into S-Mass setup. I mean, if it works, just keep on doing it. 
oh, definitely yeah. something you're going to abuse. And if, if Slayer hasn't figured out the answer, I mean, he was leaving around it in Winter's Side by using the Bomber, but he hasn't used it in this set yet. Forward tilt setting up the axe and Slayer's floating up high. Almost gets hit by that axe as well. Such a great uh, anti-air tool. Dash tag doesn't connect, goes right under the cross. So many things to avoid. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, and I mean, it's crazy because he was avoiding all the projectiles on the ground, you know, and then tried to, oh, oh. there it is, though. So finally gets that turn up snipe on the turn up throw down. Respecting the, the roll from players. Throwing the holy water into the opposite direction. Gets the, gets the hit, but not all the, the flames connecting. Oh, good nice. parry. Did he just disappear after you parry it? Yeah, that looks like it. Great. Right. Yeah. Covering that dead zone. And right there, seeing him jump to the holy cross, or I don't know if it's called holy cross, but the, the cross going under him. So. Back here, and now we see Slayer uh, in advantage, but down tilt. This is gonna cross up, but it does get fired. Oh, yeah, man, like the way Slayer's crosses up with down tilt, the full count is so good. Nice catch from the forward air. Metro once again setting up shop, trying to go for the counter here. Slayer's not really working out for him, but is able to get that forward air off stage. Tries to turn it down, but a early recovery mix up coming up from Nitro. Now you keep been using the, the tether to get, make it back to stage for the majority of his recovery. So for him to actually use his up B in, in a recovery situation. Did you see the cross eliminate the turn? <laughs> yeah, he did that in Winter as well. He'll like just kind of time his recovery just so that no turn up can actually challenge um, him making it back to stage. Dang, that's that's great. Really great stuff from Nitro. Right back off stage, much more turn ups to avoid, but he doesn't avoid that. That was a regular turn up, and that like killed him. Like killed him, killed him, and blasted him. Like these turn ups are pretty strong, and they do uh, they do a lot of damage. But the board air, gonna even it up, yeah, especially after ping ponging him against the cross a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, nice angling it up. You see so many of Nitro's aerials angled, but especially like the board air and the. Back here, so yeah, he's really good at controlling the the angle at which uh, he either predicts his opponents are going to be at, or just uh, conditioning them to be in. Oh, and advancing with that four kill, pretty even game here. Both players on that last hog. Really good jump out from players. Do not, not want to get caught up in that holy fire. And going back to that sliding F tilt from players or from Nitro. Uh, when he was like pressuring players at the ledge. Uh, it was really smart because it also was at the same time that he was going to catch the axe or yeah. the cross, so it didn't, he didn't have that animation. So yeah. he like pretty much covered himself and pressured players at the same time. Slayer is just everything he gets in, but oh wait, this is no double jump. The axe is going to close it out. Wow. Oh, Nitro. Yeah. This is looking a little bit familiar. Yeah, it See if uh, Slayers can attempt to mount the reverse 3-0. Um, he did get a game in winners, so I definitely think he can do it. Man, it's just it's so crazy because it feels like Slayers. It, it just feels like it's really hard for Slayers to get in, and when he does get in, he has to really, really make it count. Yes. It's all about getting through the wall, these projectiles. Especially with the bell monster telling you to take everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> take this, take that, and that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, no wonder Dracula didn't survive. <laughs> Dracula just gave up, dude. He's like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll take, take the castle. It. <laughs> go away. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Just leave me alone. It's so irritating. <laughs> So, I mean, we're going to be back on Final Destination, right? It definitely seems like a uh, common counter pick here for Slayers. Walk stage situation, but that quick tether, man. Always always uh, there for Nitro when he needs to And I like the drift. Uh, he went uh, down, straight down, instead of drifting towards the ledge for a little bit. But he knew that he was going to be able to tether back. He didn't want Slayers to be in a position where the tether would be covered. 
Max here. Max is trying to set up top. He's trying to get that. Looks like a fight for you, though. The aggressive, like, Belmont slash the board to Whoa. Get a B out of shield and not going to take the stock, but still a good tool. Yo, another dash attack. I think the Belmont dash attack is really cool. I don't know, like, what weapon they're using, but. I'm pretty sure that's their, their Holy Cross. Or their, their chain. Okay. And both players still sitting on their first stocks right now. Is that, is that another stick face? Uh, you know what? He had one so earlier, fast. right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he had one earlier. Oh! Holy Cross. Oh, wait a minute. Landing? Yes. Gets caught with the Florida. The crown slap. Gonna come in for Slayer. Now, having lead in this game number three. Whipping the whip out with the forward airs and the back airs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so wait. And that that feels like a very common situation. He gets he hits Slayers with the uh, the holy water, but like it doesn't like cross because Slayers got hit so hard. Yes. But the angle down forward air is gonna take it. Ooh, directional air dodge. Quick option to get to the ledge. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Say, does that have a follow-up? Is, <laughs> is that a... Is this a real, real two combo? Or? Okay, so it's just a down throw. Okay, goes high. He got his jump back, but he's going to just tether. Why not? Try to get the landing, but he's that double jump right after the down air. Yeah, he's going to double jump again to mix up the landing. Oh, getting back to stage. And that's a Mr. Saturn. Yo, he's going to get the shield break. Yo, oh, dang. No, the he's Saturn getting the again. stock instead. Alright, we'll, we'll, yo, what do we get? Oh, Thanks. there goes that. Damn, is 8 damage? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, he used to do like, what, 2 or 1? Yeah, I felt like he did like way less. I could be tripping. Yeah. He's turn up. Man, look at him. Oh, Woo! Oh, he, he tried to continue. hit him again, dude. He tried to hit him with the 3 feet. I mean, that's really when you, you like, check your opponent and say, like, did you learn your lesson? Are you, no. are you still gonna get hit by this? Even though he's off stage, if you got hit by that off stage, that would have been game. Oh yeah, that would that would have definitely been over. Good direction right out. Not gonna get hit by that nair. Oh, okay. Good uh, turn up conversion. Oh, he got holy hit. water! Yo, he got hit by it on purpose. Oh, all the turn ups, man. Turn ups are flying. Holy water! Wow! On the holy water? The biggest of brains. Can he finish the edge guard off? Or, I guess? No need. <laughs> it's Belmont. Never mind. Yeah, I don't need to go off stage against you. Yeah, and, I mean, for the first time we see, we see Nitro. He was using that a lot throughout the set, right? Just the defensive holy waters, and now we see the counterplay from Slayer. It's like, oh, cool. This is a free counter, and that peach counter does shoot like pretty far. Yeah. We we saw the gas. Slayers, <laughs> yeah, utilize. The, the range of the gas there. The spores? Is that a uh, that toad spores? Why, I don't know. Why would toads have spores? Because he's like a mushroom. Oh, I guess so. I yeah. guess that makes sense now. Okay, yeah. I never understood it. <laughs> <laughs> my my 30 years on this planet, I never got that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, those uh, darn mushrooms, dude. That makes so much sense. Shooting out spores defensively, you know. But why? Like, that has never happened in any Mario game. Well, I mean, it's science. Oh, well, we're bringing science into <laughs> Smash Brothers. Okay. <laughs> we're bringing science in, dude. That's why Wolf has, like, a chain belt, you know. <laughs> and a scouter. Yeah, a scouter. Oh, I guess Wolf Fox has a scouter, too. So. Got no legs. It's just science, man. <laughs> yep, it's, it's definitely I like some, some type of science. Nintendo science. I yeah, call it that. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> All right, so Slayer's got one on the board. Looking pretty familiar. Yep, looking exactly like what Winterside, uh, at least what happened on Winterside. But one counterplay that we saw from Slayer that hasn't exactly happened here in Winterside is the use of the Peach Bomber. Uh, Slayer was able to use Peach Bomber to weave around the Holy Fire and still punish Nitro for throwing out those like laggy moves. Right. Now it, it seems to be the Toad. Yeah, the Toad is out. Oh, dang. Oh, Dragon! Oh, so close to hitting. Yeah, definitely living the Razor's Edge. 
Yeah, the ledge jump these farmers were working out really well, but we saw Nitro starting to position the uh, Wow. Yeah, that goes through stage. Position the holy water, like right by the edge, so maybe that's why the ledge jumps were getting caught. Maybe he was trying to ledge jump Peach Bomber, but maybe. he was just getting caught by the holy that that could be it actually. Detective Korean on the case. I'll definitely ask later about it. <laughs> All right, so right now, both players on their first stock here, off stage position. They're trying to get these turn up snipes, but, you know, Nitro always, and he hasn't been sniped too much, honestly, especially with the throws just like off. He hasn't gotten hit right here. But that forward air, he's gotten hit by forward air quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, when you're playing against Beach, it's kind of hard not to get hit by forward air. It's not only huge, but it's strong as well. And he has moves that combo into it. It's a, it's a doozy. Yeah, to say the least. <laughs> But the axe got all the setups in the world, the holy fires, the high axe as well to catch the high recovery of the slayers, weaving and bobbing through all of it, coming down the corner, but the forward smash. Nitro was even charging it a little bit, so there was no secret that what Nitro was going for was showing the world what he wanted. The hypno smash. Yeah, don't go into the light slayers. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, turn up in hand. Yeah, he doesn't get that guy. Let's get this. I got way better projectiles than this true. thing. <laughs> he needs vegetables when I have, you know, an axe and a frog. I have real weapons. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, you know, you never know Nintendo science. The term might be pretty strong. But it's stitch. Stitch face, dot face. It, it depends on the face. Of it. Yeah. That's, that's Nintendo science. <laughs> How angry is your vegetable? <laughs> Oh, that was smart. He used the yeah. turn-up to clash with the axe. You can also use a move as well. You can swing into the axe, but I don't think Peach has very good hitboxes underneath her. Like, there, kind of, but I feel like that's kind of inconsistent because it's like hit, 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 like you could get hit. That's, not to mention, that's a pretty big commitment. Yeah, it lasts a long. The shield break, and we got the tennis. Oh, dang, he's changing it up. I see you, Slayer. You changing it up. I didn't know if he was going to go racket, pan. Golf club? Yeah, what dang. game we playing? <laughs> yeah, and time to cook some how do, you, how do you change it? Oh, I forget. You like? Oh, it's the angle. Yeah, it's the angle. It's the angle. So he was charging. He held the charge, and then he was probably like rolling stick. That's so hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's so cool. <laughs> today I learned. I learned something else about Smash today. I love it. Oh, I learned something else about Smash today too. But I'll save it for after uh, after this set. This amazing set that we have between Nitro and Slayer. Down to the last stock. Yeah. And even Bird. like bringing out the shield break to do Slayer's weight. Oh, great DI. Just smash the up and like buffering jump to get out of that holy water situation. But he gets caught by the cross. You gotta watch. There's so many things to watch with the Belmonts. Oh. Not being, not having like the greatest aerial movement doesn't make it any easier. Yeah. Where do you go? Oh, okay. Yeah, the direct approach. No one's gonna see that coming. Yeah, and it just it's hard because you gotta bob and weave through all of this stuff, all of these projectiles. Oh, you're doing the holy fire off stage with the axe connecting with 133%. Ooh, head tilt. They're gonna get connected on the shield. Okay, that down tilt is gonna get him right out of the corner there. Ooh, wait a minute, the forward air. Early jump from Nitro. Ooh, I like the conversion, gets the nair into the back throw, gets him right back onto the edge. Sitting in shield, but that down air is gonna get punished. We're seeing Nitro off stage again. Will history repeat itself, or will Slayers take this to a game five? So close, Slayer sitting at such a high percent. Can't get hit by almost anything. Ooh, risky air dodge. Luckily for Slayers, it was only an F tilt, not an F smash. Oh, there's the ledge jump into the uh, Peach Bomber. No holy water to stop there. The Mr. Saturn gets thrown up, but I don't know if Saturn can save Peach in this particular situation. Good weave. And now Mr. Saturn is in hand again. He's back. <laughs> Oh man, the scramble in the middle. The dash attack. Not enough. Man, and right now both players sitting at such high percent. Oh no, Saturn gets bodied. He gets bodied by Toto. Up he had a shield. Oh, I mean not a shield, but dang. Yeah, I mean that's enough to kill. He was at such high percent. Yeah. With the rage as well. Good stuff to Nitro. That was a lot closer though. 3 1 advancing to grand final. That game four was a lot closer than it was in uh, Winner's Side. Yeah. Dang, yeah, I thought there was a couple like edge guard situations. I thought Slayers had it for sure, but yeah, really yeah. great uh, mix-ups coming out from Nitro, able to get back on stage. So I didn't know that uh, the Belmont's up B was actually a sword. Oh, like a sword sword? Yeah, he, he pulled out his sword and like 
Like like Roy. Oh damn. That'd be that's sick. Is that the only move he uses his sword for? Dude, he has. Is that his sword that he's doing on dash attack? Come on, that thing's pretty. Pretty big. sure it's his chain. He's like whipping it around, and he like slides forward. All right. We got so the thing that I learned today, and it might have been just a fluke. I got. I have to test it out more. But if you have, I know because there's so many.